Hi there, welcome to another repotting video. This time it's going to be a Vendacious Orchid. And if you haven't seen my repot or not discussion, I would like you to click on this video in the upper right corner of the screen. And please like and subscribe, that would make me really happy and encourage me making more videos like this. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I've been putting it off so long because I wanted this setup to work. Let me show what we have here. I'm just soaking it. Oh, it's so heavy. It's a tree fern and it's a beautiful setup. Here's some moss growing on the tree fern. And it's been even more beautiful when I received it from Dana about a year ago. It was so, so beautiful, but I couldn't make it work. I tried to water it as often as I could, but it didn't really make this moss and the orchid happy. Quite the contrary. The roots didn't really grow. Some of them died off and the plant it did grow this leaf but that's not much for one year so i'm not convinced i cannot make this work as much as i would like to i thought about potting some kind of fern into this tree fern but i'm not completely sure about that but what i am sure about is that i'm going to remove this orchid from the tree fern and put it up in a transparent pot maybe this size we will see yeah i've been soaking this pot for a couple of hours not this pot but this piece of tree fern and roots and orchid for a couple of hours it's still dripping wet and now i'm going to try to remove the hopefully now flexible roots from the fern so let's get started see. I think this one is already loose. This one is dead, so I'm not going to have to remove it. Here's one that has grown into the fern. We will see if it, we can save it. I think it won't be possible to remove the roots without causing some kind of damage, but I'm going to try to save as many roots as possible. The tree fern has a rough texture here, so the roots are attached quite thoroughly to these surfaces. Oh, I hate the feeling when roots are damaged, when they crack, if I hear them. Oh, it really stresses me out. It has to be done. I'm pressing Ah, ugh. I hate it, but I think it wasn't as bad as the sound indicated. Okay, I think it's only this part which is still attached. This is quite an unusual reporting video. You are not able to see anything. And I doubt that many of you have such a setup, but I'm going to share it anyway. Maybe because it's easier taking courage when there's another purpose like making a video to this ordeal. <gasps> Whoa, this I didn't expect. I think we're almost done. 
still one root attached. I can pull it out. And here we are, six minutes in. Here it is. And the roots are alive for the most part. And they aren't all too damaged. At least the ones that are still alive. As you can see, they are not in active growth mode. And I think the base, this part can be removed in total. Yeah, I'm quite happy how this turned out. I'm going to clean the roots and come back. So here we are again. I'm going to remove the dead parts of the roots and then try to put it into this pot. I think this root is alive up until here. But I'm going to cut it here because this ankle causes less harm than if I cut it right through. And also here, it's dead here. I could cut here, but I would have a huge wound, so I cut it here, like here. So the stem looks like this inside. Could be nicer. But I won't cut it any further. At least not much more because there are alive roots. Since this is something I don't like to see, I will have to water it separately just to be on the safe side. I hope there's no infection that causes this lack of vigor. I'm curious if here's something I need to develop, maybe a root. Here's my pot of choice and I think it's going to fit perfect. And I'm going to use some bark chips to keep the roots hydrated a bit better. So five weeks later, it's time for a little update. But beforehand, let me show you this. Can you guess which plant this is? It's Sologeny Usitana, with its first bloom in my care after so many years. And I'm so happy and excited this bloom took forever to develop. Okay, let's go on. I would like to take a closer look at the roots because I don't think that much is happening inside the pot. I checked it every now and then and not much was happening. As you can see, the little nubbin developed into a root and the leaf above has dried up. And here's what's going on inside. And I would like to see if I should cut away another portion of the stem or leave it be. And I don't want to damage our new root here, so I have to be careful with this. The other ones, I will just pull it out. So, what do we have here? There's no new root tips. And that's why I'm thinking about cutting away 
another portion of this stem which looks worrying and I don't think that it's able to transport anything basically so that's what I'm thinking about doing. I have moistened the roots so that you can see how they look like when they are wet and I don't think that this root does much at all but it's difficult to decide where to cut the stem. If someone would ask me I would say cut the stem as much as you can to have a chance to reach a part of the stem that is still healthy and the thing is it's easier said than done <laughs> but I'm going to try to cut it beneath the upper two old roots if you know what I mean you will see we will lose we will lose these three roots and this one, four roots. So here's where I'm going to place the cut. That's good. I hope it was a good decision, but I do think so. Let's see what would have happened if I had kept the upper two roots. Yeah, here's the lower portion. And here's something that I would call the beginning of a purple ring. Maybe. Is it purple? I think so. And that's why I am thinking that this might be an infection, given that the lower portion is completely blackened, or at least dark brown. So I think this might have something to do with a fungal infection, possibly Fusarium. So I'm glad that I got rid of it. And there might still be some Fusarium or whatever left in the plant, but maybe not enough to defeat it. So I hope for a good life for this plant. I have placed the plant a little deeper into the pot so that it can hold itself better and so that the new roots that will hopefully appear above the one that has already appeared will be able to absorb some of the moisture that will be obtained by the medium. Fingers crossed. Okay, here we are. The plant is potted up nicely. I know it's potted up a bit too deeply, but that's on purpose. I didn't want to waste the medium. I wouldn't want to use it for another plant because this is possibly infected. And I think that the lower leaves are going to dry up anyway, and then it's not all too deep anymore. I will make sure that the lower portion of the stem is not going to stay moist, but I wanted the newest root to be covered with some medium. And yeah, please keep your fingers crossed. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this reporting. And yeah, I hope you're all doing fine. Happy growing to all of you. Bye.